Ism. But the Spirit told me to tell him he is a leaning to the kingdom. The Holy Spirit will, will, it says that Jesus is the only way to heaven in the Word of God. There's only one way to heaven, and it's through Jesus. I shared that with him. I says, but look, you've got to lean to the kingdom. The Holy Spirit will sort it all out. I was like, but you have to understand that Jesus is the only way. And the only reason he's the only way is because there's no requirement. It's free gift. It's because he paid it. He prepaid a ticket for you to get to heaven through his precious blood. You are covered. In the story account in Moses, there was a covering. Egypt, the, the Pharaoh wouldn't let God's people go, so there was all these plagues. Well, that last plague killed the firstborn of every family, and it would have done the same thing even for, for the, the Hebrews. But God said, take the lamb's blood, put it over the, the mantle of, of, of your home. That's the covering. You have to have a covering of blood. That was He was teaching the people that later... Jesus was going to be the ultimate shedding of his blood. In fact, he's called the Lamb of God. Um, Jesus, um, the only reason I say this, I, look, two or three weeks from now, you can come, you can come to know Jesus. But if it was me, Rudy, I would, I would get, I'd take care of it right now. And it's a simple prayer. It's as simple as me going over here and flipping a switch. Does that mean all of a sudden Rudy is just speaking Christianese and no. you know and all no no problems here or I hit my thumb and I'm not gonna say a cuss word. No, no of course not. Yeah. But here's the thing, what it does do is you're sealed. When we pray a prayer together, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit, which means if you leave your physical body leaves this planet, you're destined to that kingdom, not the dark kingdom. Because there's two kingdoms. You'll be destined, you'll be sealed, your body will be sealed. And if you're in an auto accident or any, if you have, whatever the case may be, if you leave this planet, then you will know without a shadow of a doubt because you just simply accept it. Um, it's just accepting what his son did, did on our behalf. It says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So it's eternity, it's a gift for eternity. And it comes only through Jesus, Jesus Christ. And it's as simply as saying a prayer, just saying, I, Rudy, acknowledge I'm a sinner and I'm lost without Jesus' blood. And I want Jesus to come into my heart and life and I mean it. You have faith in it. You've already got the lean and come on. I can just I can just go ahead and push you and you follow fall on into it. So why don't you pray? What do you, I mean, why not? Why don't, why don't, do you want to say a prayer? Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Rudy, you're my brother. Listen. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. My I'm Rudy. I'm Rudy. And I understand that I, I need to be saved. I understand I need to be saved. And that, that being saved comes through the blood of Jesus. And being saved comes through the blood of Jesus. And that blood has given me a free gift to heaven. And that blood has given me a free gift to heaven. But even more so, and even more so, that blood, that blood protects me from the evil one. The blood protects me from the evil one. From, from the enemy Satan. The enemy Satan. And all of, of his schemes. And all of his schemes. Against me. Against me. And I just thank you, Jesus. I just thank you, Jesus. For what you did on the cross. What you did on the cross. And that you were resurrected. You were resurrected. And then now sitting by the Father. You are sitting by the Father. And one day. And one day. You're going to come back. You're going to come back. And you're going to call me home. You're going to call me home. In Jesus' name. Turn the game. <laughs> Listen, if there wasn't a day for me to come in and work on a Saturday, this is why he placed us here. That's why you walked in this door. Now you go home and you tell your wife what you what you have committed your life to. Now I'll tell you this, Rudy. Just like I told him, and like like the first thing that he did for me. Take the word of God. Do you have a Bible? She does. Okay.
be all done. But you know what I have found though is when the enemy is attacking, there's purpose behind it. There's something bigger that's happening. God's getting ready to do something. And he did. He led you. Right here. Well, he must have right through that door. So I don't, were, you were, were you eating down there? No, I was next door having and my phone fixed. You were? Okay. Yeah. I stopped here last night mm -hmm. to get the phone fixed, but they were closed. I gotcha. So God already knew that he needed to close that door. Oh, wow. He already had a plan. He did. That's right. So he, does. <laughs> he already had a plan for some reason, okay? Wow. So and he just happened to look at the picture and... And then I seen that on there, and I said, I said, Linda, I said, I, then he does pictures. I, I'm see if he does the pictures. So I got the picture of my, I've got my phone finally. Yeah. I just not to throw the curveball in it. Yeah. But see, I got this picture here. Oh wow, wow, that's pretty. So it's got a Ferris wheel in the yeah. background. Yeah. 